What's up, y'all? It's me, it's your boy Asmongold, and today I'm explaining Iron Docks in five minutes. First boss I'm looking at here is going to be Flesh Render Noxthar, and he's going to start off the fight on his mount Dreadfang. Now, Dreadfang casts pretty much one thing that matters uh, at the beginning of the fight is Bloodletting Howl, and really that doesn't matter unless Noxthar is out, it just makes Noxthar do more damage. Other than that, uh, he's gonna also going to, Noxthar is going to cast throughout the fight uh, Burning Arrows. Uh, burning arrows, uh, this means archers on the top of, like, I guess, like where you're at, and they're pretty much going to shoot down arrows that are burning when there's fire. Guess what, guys? You don't stand any fire. After Dreadfang gets low enough health, uh, Noctar is going to get off his mountain, and you're going to fight the two of them. At this point, this is when you ever you want to pop cooldowns and make sure you kill Dreadfang. Noctar also casts something called Reckless Provocation. What that does is it puts, like, a red circle around them and a buff, and if you hit him while he has the buff up, uh, you get feared. Really simple. Also, Dreadfang, as you saw there, he charges in a certain direction, and if you're standing in front of the charge, you take damage. After all of that happens, uh, it's pretty much rinse and repeat. Uh, you just need to make sure that you're staying out of the fire, and also that you're not, uh, you kill Dreadfang as fast as possible, so he does not buffing Noctar, and also it's a lot of tank damage. Uh, the next fight we're going to be looking at here is actually a council fight, and there's going to be three different guys. There's going to be a warrior, an engineer, and like kind of a caster healer type thing. The warrior, as you see there, is like uh, throwing like is like he can make like fire waves with his sword. That's pretty cool. The warrior like uh, next next expansion warriors better have that ability. And uh, the um, the engineer puts down bombs, and it's really simple. You don't stand in the bombs. And uh, also the most important thing here is Sanguine Sphere, which is what the caster does. And uh, she puts a, uh, an Absorb Shield on the lowest health target of the three of them. And if the Absorb Shield takes, the person that breaks the Absorb Shield before it goes away, uh, it heals the, uh, the target for a lot of health. Okay, that's really all you gotta know, a lot of health. Make sure that whenever she puts the shield on, uh, on that target, you stop all damage on that target, including AoE, because you don't want to have a heal everybody up. Uh, also, the um, the engineer puts down traps, and as you can see there in the back, there are little traps. Make sure you don't stand in the traps, or they'll stun you. As you can see there, I jumped in one of them like an idiot, and so that's what happens. Uh, also, the uh, engine, the uh, warrior does like a charge uh, whirlwind thing, and so that's really simple. Just make sure that there's not anyone in front of you whenever you're standing there. Just make sure you're not you're a straight line between you and the boss, nobody else in between, and uh, you want to just pretty much kill the caster as soon as possible, and the rest of the fight is very easy. Oshir uh, is also pretty easy. Uh, he summons two different types of adds during the fight. Uh, he summons a Rylak that puts a uh, that basically shoots poison at people. It's really simple. Just kill the Rylak. Uh, honestly, look at that. It's already fucking dead. And uh, he also does feeding time uh, or feeding frenzy. Uh, he stuns a random player, and uh, you have to do eight percent of his health uh, total health in order to get him to I guess like stop eating that player. Uh, he also casts like wolves throughout the fight, and he also does primal assault. Primal assault is the same thing as with the. Uh, the dog in the first fight, and he just charges in a spe specific direction, and uh, if you're in the way of the charge, he does like 100,000 damage to you. So don't be in the way of the charge. Whenever the wolves come out, they buff each other, and so uh, one wolf goes to each person in the, uh, in the party, and so if you do stack them up, you're going to be taking a lot of damage, and so make sure that as soon as they, uh, they come out, everybody's spread out, or you stun them and AoE them down very quickly. Other than that, this fight is very, very simple. It's like almost a mini boss. It doesn't even really matter. And so the last boss we're looking at here is Skullock, and he's also got this Koromar guy with him, and Zargosh. Uh, Koromar does like a Berserker leap on the people, and that just pretty much does damage. Zargosh targets a random player and starts shooting things at them. Make sure if you're being shot at by Zargosh, you're not standing behind somebody else, or that person in front of you will get hit by it too. Uh, other than that, um, uh, Skullock at a certain point is going to knock everybody to the back of the room, and uh, that's, he's going to start casting Cannon Barrage. In order to avoid cannon barrage, you just get behind uh, these rocks here, not rocks, uh, crates, and um, as soon as he stops casting it, you move forward. Also, Koromar is going to be blade storming back and forth, and so just make sure you don't run into him. Uh, whenever you get close enough to Skull Lock, that stops the, uh, the cannon barrage, and the fight goes back to normal. If you get knocked back too many times with cannon barrage, you're going to get hit by backdraft at the end of the fight, and uh, that's pretty much just fire in the back of the room. But honestly, if you kill this fight at any uh, reasonable time, you really should never have to worry about backdraft. Uh, backdraft. Zorgash comes out uh, at, towards the end of the fight sometimes. Uh, don't really worry about killing him. Just focus on killing Skullock. And honestly, like that's really all this fight takes. You just pretty much have to avoid uh, getting killed by a uh, cannon barrage. And that's honestly pretty much all it takes. So that's how to do Iron Docks, and I guess I get a lot. I've actually got a lot of time. So yeah, that's how to do this uh, this fight. It's actually very very easy to do. Um, just make sure that you have somebody who can speed up there and interrupt Cannon Barrage as soon as he casts it. But that's pretty much all I've got. Thanks for watching, and like, comment, subscribe.